The Paris news will not get any higher. The stage for Croix de Chaubourg summit finish is the highest peak of the day and of the week after a hilly course through eight passes in 204 kilometers. Despite the profile, two men went away on their own as soon as the bunch left varennes sur allier Thomas de Genk and Chris Anker Sorensen from teams Lotto Soudal and Tinkoff. A third man, Antoine Duchesne, was part of the breakaway but the Côte de la Gimont Pass, 50 kilometers to the finish, sounded the death knell of his ambitions. The 40 km per hour speed of the pack and the succession of climbs caused damages at the front and in the back. Raphael Mashka punctured and suffered to get back in the peloton, while Bradley Wiggins was irreparably dropped from the yellow jersey group. Michael Matthews' team, after having pedaled gently enough for the escapees to have an eight-minute advantage, built up an alliance with Age de Zerla Mondial. Romain Bardet launched the offensive along with his teammates 45 kilometers to the finish line. After this week has put them in the news for a positive doping test on Lloyd Mondory, the Age de Zerla riders intend to redeem the team's reputation. So much for the breakaway riders, they were caught 13 kilometers from the arrival. Thomas de Genk offered himself the polka dot jersey. Clear as the sky, the end of the race turned for the best for Team Sky. The British squadron took commands at the foot of the final ascent and dropped most riders one by one. First to go, Garen Thomas left with six kilometers to go. Then his team leader, Richie Port, hammered the race. The winning duo gave a tactical lesson to their competitors. The 2013 winner grabbed his third stage success in a Paris Nice. And even though it's not enough for him to take the yellow jersey, the Australian made an impression. World champion Michal Kwiatkowski did great in the finish. The pole took the third place and steps back on the top spot of the GC. More than a sparing partner for Chris Froome, Richie Port in any case is the main contender for the Paris Nice success. After four quiet days, the Australian showed his end in the Saint-Étienne region. His teammates started working in the last 10 kilometers and the Team Sky leader finished off on the road to La Croix de Chaubourg. Port's third success in a stage this year after the Tour Down Under and the Tour of Algarve confirms the trend. They were all clinched in each of these races' highest days. One second behind Kwiatkowski, he now can get a hold of the yellow jersey. Years ago, I took the jersey on the mountain stage, and I know it's not it's not easy. I mean, we've got two hard days coming up, and then the cold airs. Uh, you know, I love the cold airs, and uh, I'd love to have a good time trial there. I think I can, but you know, two days, uh, two very hard stages. But uh, we've got a great team here, and uh, you know, with Garrett and I up there on general classification now, I think you know it's uh, it's good to have a, uh, two cards to play. If Garen Thomas stayed by his teammate's side, the other favourites were left quite alone in the finale. TJ Van Gaderen lost 17 seconds and can't hope for much anymore in Nice. Respectively, 6 and 7, Portugal's Rico Sta and Francis Tony Galopin proved there is room for punches. The Lotto rider sets foot in the top 10, where he's the only local to stand. The three top riders are only within 3 seconds, were kept in suspense. Due to the tiredness of the peloton from the previous stages' ups and downs, stage 5 between Saint-Étienne and Rasto could benefit to some bold riders. Getting in the southern part of France, the pack will come across the Côte de Buisson Pass, less than 10 km to the finish line, a profile the rulers should love, while we loved today's sceneries.